Yo, what is up, lovely peeps? I got another Real Talk video for you guys today, and this one is more targeted to guys who want to start playing CSGO in 2020. Let's get straight into it. I got five tips to help you get better at CSGO as fast as possible. Starting with one, settings, number two, movement, number three, training maps, number four, learning a few maps, and five, game sense. Now before I get into it, there are some good news and some bad news. The bad news is, it's true that it is harder to get into CSGO now since the level of skill is much higher than it used to be a few years ago. Now the good news, I got just the tips for you beginners to focus on in order for you to get better faster if you want to learn this game in 2020. So starting off with tip number one, settings. Now what I want you guys to do is take some time to see what kind of resolution, sensitivity, and DPI works for you. Those three I've mentioned just now, I'd say are the most important settings to update before you get into any of the others. So you got three choices, 16 by 10, 16 by nine, and four by three. Usually a lot of players pick four by three because CSGO doesn't need to be played on higher resolutions. You can definitely still play at high level on a much lower resolution, making it less stressful on your computer and in return giving you more FPS. So if you don't want to do your own research, I suggest you just change your resolution to 4x3 and pick whether you want to play on stretched or black bars. You can change the settings for stretched or black bars on your Nvidia system preferences. For me, personally, I chose the stretched option because in-game, it kind of makes the models look fatter. So in a way, it also makes it easier to aim at them. You try both ways if you like stretched or black bars. It's completely up to you. Sensitivity is relatively straightforward, but I'll make a separate video talking about sensitivity and how you can find the right sensitivity for you. But in this video, I'm going to give you a quick suggestion. So you should set your DPI to 400 and start your sensitivity at 1.5 and work your way up from there. If it's too slow, bump it up 0.1 every time. And DPI, as mentioned earlier, is also straightforward. Now in gaming mouses, it's much easier to adjust which DPI works for you. Most professionals hover around 400 DPI. Some go with 800, but it's completely up to you. For those of you who don't know, DPI stands for dots per inch. So simply, like really basically put, if you are on 400 DPI, when you move your mouse, the movement of your cursor is much slower than if your DPI was higher. So the higher your DPI is, the faster your mouse cursor moves when you move your mouse. So that's why players tend to stick to 400 or 800 DPI for better control. Now moving on to tip number two, and that is movement. Movement is what makes CSGO very special. So movement in CSGO is a must learn and understand asset that will make you a better player overall. The one movement I believe beginners must learn to do first is knowing how to stop your player in order to shoot accurately. In other words, strafing or counter strafing. Where whichever direction you're going, left, right, front, or back, you immediately press the opposite direction, whichever you're going, to immediately stop your player. And at that point, when you shoot, it's more accurate rather than just letting your finger off the key. Now what I mean by that is that if you are going right, which is holding your D key, if you just lift your finger off the key, your player is still going to be moving for a split second. And in that split second, if you start shooting, you're going to be inaccurate. So that is that is where counter strafing comes in. So when you're moving right, you immediately press the A key, which is your left side, to put your player to a complete stop so that when you start shooting, you are accurate with your first shot. There's other types of movements like bunny hopping, shoulder peeking, wide and jiggle peeking, but strafing and counter strafing are the ones you must learn first and be good at before you start mastering the other types of movement. You will eventually learn these later on, 
So it's best to just stick to these two strafing and counter strafing movement first. Tip number three is to download community made training maps. Go ahead and download these maps for you to train your aim on. Stand on any spot and aim at the heads of the bots and however fast you can. It depends on every person how long you want to train on these aim maps, it will benefit you either way. Once you've gotten tired of these aim maps, get onto a free for all community server and start training with real people. Here instead of bots standing still, you are matched up against real players. It can get quite hectic, but it'll help you with your reaction time, flicks, guns, and movement. Now moving on to tip number four is to pick a few maps and know them. Like really know them inside out. All the common spots, angles, secret spots, and everything. The reason why I say a couple of maps is because it'll take a long time for you to understand every single map in this game. Start off with two, then work your way up to three, then four, then five, and so forth. I say the most two common maps to know right off the bat are obviously Dust 2 and Mirage or Inferno. Obviously Dust 2 is a very popular map and people love to play it in matchmaking. So if you're planning to play matchmaking, understanding Dust 2 first is going to benefit you a lot. There are plenty of videos talking about smokes, flashes, common spots, angles, etc. on YouTube. And I suggest you watch a few of them. Also watch some pro games and download pre aim maps for the two maps you've chosen. I said Mirage or Inferno because when you eventually move to face it, the lower levels tend to pick either Mirage or Inferno. All the time. All the time. So mastering either one can give you a big upper advantage when going into the game. Moving on to the last tip, which is game sense. I say game sense is way, way more important than pure aim. Knowledge is power, and if you understand the map much better than your opponent, you are guaranteed to win most of the time. Because you're aware of the common spots, the secret spots, the smokes, the flashes, everything. Aim takes time to, to develop, but knowledge is something you can easily retrieve and learn if you're willing to understand it. I want to show you guys one clip where I was one against four on overpass on B site and I was able to clutch it out because I outsmarted them rather than pure aim as you'll see in this clip right now. Watch me and run short. Yellow, don't push like that, please. It's called me. Water, water. Nice. Nice clutch. So focus more on your game sense rather than trying to perfect your aim. Even if you don't have the best aim, you can outsmart the best aimers in the game. So there you go guys, those are my 5 tips for you beginners who want to start playing CSGO in 2020. Remember, it will take some time for you to get into the flow of things of CSGO. There's plenty of people who have played this game even starting back in the first game of Counter-Strike. So don't get discouraged. You will have games where you'll be really bad and you'll have games where you'll do well. But you have to have that Mamba mentality and keep working at your craft. Some players have had years of experience. If you are determined and willing to learn this game, you'll get better in less than that. I got Global Elite before in less than five months of playing. You know, I guess you can call me a hardcore gamer, but I got that through many hours of lost sleep and just the determination to get good at the game. So, good luck guys. No, like really, really good luck. <laughs> and remember, happy gaming. Bye bye.